is everybody, welcome back to episode 47 of my Let's Play world, my single player world of course. I am on top of Seinfeld, straight below me, uh, my old base, but it's kind of interesting as all this snow on here now that wasn't a thing years ago when I built that thing. Uh, but I wanted to really over here, let's slow down so we don't crash. This, if you remember, is my hall of subscribers, where I write down all the people who subscribe to me on these signs, starting with the very first one there, um, all the way around the outside of the building first, all the way to the end, all the way down here, um, and all the way on the inside part. Very long end right here. All right, that is... 826 subscribers currently on the channel. I think there are more than 826 names in there, but that is okay. Um, but I made it. We made it all the way to the end, and that makes me very happy. I don't know whether I want to start up here. Um, we'll smack ourselves in the wall back here. Um, apparently, my dark green wool texture got deleted at some point but at least I have my lighter glowstone so I need to fix that um, but I could either continue the signs up here which will be very slow or make some sort of building structures out here um, which is my very first real sand harvesting place um, with some zombie villagers lurking around too apparently um, and that is my spider farm right there. So let me go to, on to the next part. Um, right through here. I don't want to actually cut because um, I want to smack in the wall and nearly die. But I actually want to show off the nether, which is the bulk of my... I'd say the main... Not at least half of the progress I've built in since my last video. Um, if if you haven't seen this before, I build the Nether on the top of the world. X or the Y coordinate is 119, so I'm the very top. The bedrock makes that more obvious in the coordinates, and all my portals are on the same level. Here is the dome you're standing on, right next to the hall subscribers. So you can see that that 1 8 scale really comes in the handy. The Nether and putting it all up here makes it a lot safer, but the core of my portals are all in this very, very close to each other. And what I did was dig out beneath all the netherrack that I was standing on before. And now we're walking on glass instead. So you could see straight down. That actually goes all the way down right there. It's insane. Um, aside from the portals themselves and the original decoration I had around the portals, um, we go all the way down, you can even see that gas that is interrupting this episode with the loud crying. Um, so we have my slime farm. I cleared out a lot of space here for my original base. Actually, I finally have the glass to finish this. Um, there we go. My original base right there. A secret project down there. Um, and my iron farm and stuff over here, my tree farm, the place to get to the um, prismarine farm, my ocean circles here, and you see that you saw some pretty cool stuff. Yes, the bulk of it was in another, I did forget. Somehow I was blocking out the painful memory of putting all those half slabs down to have a perimeter around my nether fortress, my nether farm, or my wither skeleton farm. Um, I finally organized my inventory here. Uh, I'm doing pretty good in quartz for not having any need for it. Pretty good in soul sand, all the magma I can need. Um, I, there is some blue ice down there past the prismarine farm. Um, way down there, I've found those icebergs and whatnot in fresh terrain. Um, and other various materials. This has helped building. Um, I tore down all the minecarts that were here um, and replaced them with these blue ice boat rails. 
Um, we're not going to take this one, but um, I have also been noticed that pigmen can spawn on blue ice, apparently. So I put rails on top of it because they cannot spawn on that. But all the rest, they cannot spawn on glass panes. They cannot spawn on the half slabs all around. Um, and you could just air up, apparently. Let's replace that and ride down this much quicker than a minecart could, even when I'm ra ramming into the sides. Um, you can see that. There are other tunnels to my nether fortress. I'll show that off in a different time, I guess, because um, I want to go to here. Um, show off the one last project, the more recent one I've been doing the past few weeks, um, has been getting this all together. I've moved all my enchanted books from all over the world, all the places I can find, to here. I'm sorting by the different types, all the tool enchantments, mending, and breaking efficiency. I only have three mending books, and that was two or two more than what I had a few weeks ago. My unbreaking books and the efficiency books. All that. Fortune and Soap Touch. Sharp Smites, the Sword Enchantments, the Trident Enchantments back there, um, the Armor Enchantments, the Helmets and the Feet, and the other stuff. And then the last ones, um, Bows and Fishing. Um, because with all the bows and fishing rods you get from AFK Fish Farms, which I have done countless times um, as I was sleeping, um, the bows and fishing books with just the bow enchantments on it are pretty useless to me since I will never really <laughs> need anything put onto a bow ever. So that's why these are the most important. The tools ones are first. You can see a one, two, three, four tools that we might need replaced at some point. The mending makes it pretty impossible to break though. Um, so I'm pretty good on enchantments in this world, especially now. That what I've really done is over here. My villager trading far or hall has gotten much longer. Um, I've singled out some efficiency five that is pretty expensive, although not anymore. Um, mending, I have a mending sixteen, which is my lowest. Um, right here, also had another mending one that was twenty two. And I'm breaking three at twenty six is my lowest unbreaking enchantment. I have. That's my lowest paper one, but I don't use paper anymore to get emeralds, but lowest silk touch. I got the perfect one with five. So I have a perfect silk touch villager. And I say this having zero clue what the new villager training mechanics are going to be. I'm, I wanted to do this video first before I spoiled myself on that. Um, and maybe, just maybe, that all it's to be completely useless because they're all vanished. All the trades will be completely redone on old villagers, but I don't think so. They've never really done that way before. But I'm looking forward to seeing how the new villager trading system works. Um, see, I've had to trim down that a lot. And also, I have for lastly, this is my new villager that I get emeralds from. The emeralds to get the Silk Touch and Mending stuff, I get it from here. And mainly his perfect pumpkin trade with eight pumpkins for one emerald that is currently locked out. But that is okay, because down here is my pumpkin farm. And it is the first time I've ever used a flying machine in any world ever. I mean, by flying machine, I mean this, where the, the slime block machine pushes automatically forward. Um, there are uh, these hopper minecarts, and there's glass panes inside of it that uh, simultaneously break the pumpkins when the, the glass pane gets pushed over it and pushes the hopper minecart forward, carries it along, and automatically collects the pumpkins that you can see there. Um, so it goes all the way to the end really loud, although I'm not here. I stay at that end for the, pretty much all of it. These are jack o lanterns lighting up the place so no mobs spawn and the big f crops don't die because we are underground here. Um, it reaches the end. Um, some grow in the meantime. And then they all collect. Uh, the hopper minecarts rest on these hoppers. 
which uh, clear out the pumpkins that go inside and goes all the way to here. I have a ton of pumpkins, um, a lot of emeralds have been stacking up. Um, where is it? There it is, my full stack of emerald blocks. I am good on emeralds forever now with this pumpkin farm. You can see all this extra stuff. Um, uh, to clear out the pumpkin trades. So that is the current progress of my farm in the past few months. I hope you enjoy watching it and hope you enjoy catching up with it. I will see you next time. Um, who knows when that might be. I might have some inspiration with the new villagers depending on how great I think that feature is.